Come, ye thankful people, come. Happy Wednesday. I hope all, well, it's actually Tuesday because this is the week of Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving uh, to you and your families. When was the first Thanksgiving and what are we to make of this special holiday? Many people believe that the first Thanksgiving came with the pilgrims and this iconic picture of coexistence between the pilgrims, the these newfound um, uh, men and women that will come ashore in Plymouth and their connection to the Native Americans. It probably wasn't this rosy and it probably wasn't this peaceful. Um, but uh, without question, there is a, a connection back to uh, that early 17th century Massachusetts meal. But there's also an equally strong connection to what happened in 1619 on December 4th when uh, new Anglicans in these new shores at Berkeley Plantation celebrated the first Thanksgiving, giving credit to God for the bountiful harvest and for um, our lives. Thanksgiving is so rich, and in in the connection with Native Americans is so uh, powerful, too, because Native American culture and their uh, both systems of belief are so rooted in, in giving thanks to the land and, and recognizing that it is the land um, that provides for us. We use the grammar and knowledge that is God that provides for us, and this is found in the Bible, too. Um, you have the Jewish Feast of the Tabernacle in Leviticus is a place of thanksgiving. Um, we understand the Last Supper as a, a place of um, thanksgiving. There's this great Charlie Brown here. I invited you to Thanksgiving dinner to reveal that one of you will betray me. <laughs> Isn't that great? Um, and some of us feel that way when we gather with all of our families. Uh, but we have to um, uh, press on and, and give thanks for be just being together. Or as uh, a friend of mine said, just keep up the heapings of grace. Heapings of grace. Uh, in church life, we think about Thanksgiving. It is it directly translated as Eucharist uh, in the Greek. And here's a picture that some people saw from our confirmation class of the commemoration of the 400th anniversary of Jamestown. Uh, which was the first recorded Eucharist in the American soil. Um, here is the uh, Bishop Heath Light, you can see, and the presiding bishop and lots of other uh, bishops of our church gathered together in 2007 to mark this 400th anniversary with a memorial and a Eucharistic feast. Civically, we think about Thanksgiving, of course, from George Washington, the Anglican himself. Now, therefore, I do recommend and assign Thursday, the 26th day of November next, to be devoted by the people of these states to the service of that great and glorious being. Abraham Lincoln is also known for uh, marking Thanksgiving in our lives with his proclamation. But our first American prayer book marked it as well in 1789. In addition to the above, which are church feast days, the first Thursday in November, or if any other day be appointed by the civil authority, then such day shall be observed as a day of thanksgiving to Almighty God for the fruits of the earth and all other blessings of his merciful providence. Thanksgiving Day is a holy day. Here's a prayer that we'll say at the end that's found in our 1979 prayer book. Thanksgiving has also been a, a rich time in my own uh, family's history. Uh, here's a picture of our family gathered for some music and um, giving thanks for each other and for um, the love between us and the friends beside us. I will gather this year with about 53 um, cousins um, in Roanoke, and uh, we will gather and play music and eat and drink and um, sing off-key, though most of my family is actually much better. Here's another picture of a Thanksgiving. This is actually an Easter dinner, I noticed, just by those flowers, but uh, 
The meaning is the same. And then Thanksgiving is obviously special for us, too, because it was a couple weeks before Thanksgiving in 2014 when Freddie Bob was born. There's a picture of young Fred, um, just uh, two weeks old, or at this point, just days old in the hospital. And so happy Thanksgiving from, from me and Ashley and George and Nev and Freddie Bob and the holy dogs as well. And let's end with prayer. Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth and their season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty for the provision of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. I wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving. God bless each one of you and see you in Advent.